What's going on YouTube? Snipes here with TKO Gaming, bringing you guys this video in 2017 post-patch. We're going to be talking about the best special weapons to use for you guys. And guys, I'm telling you, this video is of weapons that you already have that are going to help you beast. I'm talking about beast. Get that 2.0 plus KD in the Crucible. Get that lighthouse every single week because you know you can do it. And you know TKO Gaming is going to be here to help you out every step of the way, baby. Now, before we get started, as you guys know, this video, we're going to be doing a special giveaway I'm gonna set up a light goal a little bit higher than usual so please let's hit that but we're going to be giving away yes the TKO gaming Elgato HD you guys know we upgraded our Elgato's and now we get to give it away guys all you have to do is like this video and comment down below what is your favorite weapon in this new post patch meta now it could be a primary it could be a special it does not matter let us know guys as you guys see here my warlock set up on ps4 now i'm going to talk really really quick about how i feel about this new meta this new meta that we have it's definitely a little bit more slow paced however you are getting into a lot more primary gunfights now a lot of people got mad at me now i did make a video explaining the top five primaries to use post patch you guys can check that video out it's in the channel all right, make sure you check that out. Make sure you subscribe to the channel because also as part as the giveaway goes, that's how we know if you like the video and if you have subscribed to the channel so we can direct message you. And we do privately message the winners so that there are no fake accounts, guys. It's that simple. Now, anyways, so I made a five, top five primary video. You guys should go check that out. It tells you the top five primaries to use in 2017 post patch that you own. You own these weapons. I'm going to talk about these special weapons that you can also either own or get very very easily so let's get right into it this patch is a little bit more on the grenade heavy and primary heavy which is fine people use sidearms and i'll tell you the benefits of using a sidearm versus a shotgun versus a sniper versus a fusion rifle so let's start off really fast because right now we're moving in transitioning into sidearms now sidearms aren't like oh my god sidearms are the best thing to use over anything it's not that sidearms are good because with the new meta, as you guys know, if you die, you lose your special. However, when you spawn with the sidearm, you always have special ammo. And plus, you can pick up special ammo from crates as well. That's what makes sidearms so good. The good thing about primaries, and you guys can check out my video, there's a lot of primary weapons that you can use that are good in this new meta that are legendary. Meaning that you can have either your special or your rocket launcher or your machine gun as an exotic now obviously not a lot of people are going to use an exotic rocket launcher here because you know heavy ammo doesn't spawn that often so that allows your special place special weapon place i can't really talk right now because it's super late but it allows this to open up and you can actually use that as an exotic weapon so why do i say this because as you guys know and since we're talking about sidearms trespasser is the greatest freaking sidearm period i don't care what anybody says if you are an effective user of this sidearm, I mean, first off, look at all the perks that it has. Also, keep in mind that it has a magazine size of 18. All the sidearms that I hold in my inventory do not have that. I mean, this jobber hake de, I don't know, fuck it, hake, I don't know what the hell to say. I said this in the law. I don't know how the hell to say that shit. But 15 in the magazine here. And then you have the trespasser here that has 18 in the magazine. Not only that, but after you reload your weapon, after you get a kill, you get a double burst, which is so freaking powerful, guys. This sidearm is very, very effective. F can't speak. It's very, very effective. If you don't have this sidearm, go and get it. Also, keep in mind that all my commentaries are live comms. I don't go back and edit, or at least I don't do it to most of them. So you guys get the shindig, my mentality, straight up from verbal. I don't know what the hell I'm saying right now. So anyways, you have this sidearm which is the trespasser then you have the wormwood which is also a very 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 good sidearm and look at these perks that i'm getting on these sidearms like these were stashed in my vault to hopefully one day be effective and guys that one day is today i mean look at this shit dude range finder it has freaking armor piercing rounds quick draw which is a great perk army of one which is a great perk oh my god like look even the sights are pretty good true sights a pretty good sight to have on that wormwood you can apply that to the jabber hockey the reason why this is good is that crowd control perk 
it really is it kicks in and it does a lot of damage relentless tracker not so much not that big of a deal but then you have high caliber rounds like what they fix high caliber rounds too i mean it used to be op only on pulse rifles they nerf pulse rifles and now they're really good on other weapons as well if you actually use it and then i have sure shot which is a great great sight to look for and then let's move on to the next weapon so sidearms are obviously go to if you're having trouble finding special ammo, just just pull a, put a sidearm on. It's it's definitely good. It really is effective against those people that bum rush you with a shotgun. But honestly, you don't see that too often, right? So let's talk about the next thing. Now I'm going to talk about the two powerful places: uh, shotguns and fusion rifles. Here in a second, but let's talk about a sniper rifles really fast. Why why are sniper rifles good? Sniper rifles are good if you can get the right perks. Now I have these two sniper rifles, and you can apply these perks to any sniper of your choice. You just got to make sure you have these perks. Let's talk about the herb benevolence. This is probably my most perfect role on any sniper rifle period. Now granted the middle column could have quick draw. It would be a little bit better than snapshot, but honestly I like snapshot a lot. Then you have unflinching, which is great because as you guys know, they did put a sniper flinch increase. Um, they don't they didn't really fix it in this last patch. So this unflinching perk is really nice. The hidden hand perk makes the sniper a little bit more sticky. What I mean by that, when those you drag scope or if you go in for in terms of target acquisition, this hidden hand perk helps a lot. And you have short gaze. This is, in my opinion, the perfect scope. Yeah, they nerf short gaze, but short gaze is like the perfect amount of zoom on a scope for me. I'll also talk about another good perk on my other sniper rifle here. This sniper rifle, Bitter Edge 010 is actually known to be the most highest aim assist sniper rifle in the game. I was lucky enough to get really, really good perks on it. Once again, has snapshot, which is a great perk. Here I have mulligan, but since it's a faster rate of fire, I actually chose to have perfect balance, which I think is really effective. And then you have firefly. The reason why I like firefly is not only that occasionally you'll get the two for one kills because of that combustion, but because of the fact that it looks beautiful, when you headshot somebody with Firefly, it makes you feel good. It makes you really motivated to get another headshot. That's at least my mentality. Let me know what you guys think about that. And then you have Longview SLR-10. This is the next best scope in my book after the short gaze scope. If I were to only choose two, sco uh, two scopes, I would use that one and then this one, the Longview SLR-10. Great scope to you. So that is enough for sniper rifles as you guys know when you die you lose special so having a sniper rifle isn't the best thing but actually it's not bad either because technically you won't be straight up face to face in gunfights you'll actually keep distance so actually having a sniper rifle in this meta is not a bad idea a lot of people you'll see using no land beyond hey great weapon choice do it i know since we're on the topic of sniper rifles the best one to use is the icebreaker why it regens ammo you don't have to worry about finding special boxes you can still focus on primary kills which most people are doing anyways and then you can just keep getting more bullets in your special ammo reserve because of over time i think every eight seconds you get one bullet not bad then you can use that as well because heavy or special ammo spawns every one minute so doing the math you can get a pretty good amount and i mean this clip only holds six so you can you can rack up six uh during that time anyways so then you have over here, let's move on to um, shotguns, since shotguns were the meta. Uh, honestly, the shotguns are still very good. I see a lot of people using them. I still think that people should use them. Honestly, you do not want to have the rangefinder perk on shotguns anymore. They've actually increased the ADS, which is aim down sight with rangefinder. And luckily, this matador that I have is perfect because it doesn't have that perk. It has crowd control, which is an amazing perk. It has rifled barrel, which increases the range. And then it has full auto, which is also a great perk to have. It also adds a sense of shot package on your second shots and after more shots after that. Then aggressive ballistics is great for the impact. It increases the impact. So that's a pretty god roll matador you could have a similar role um party crasher would also work really well um but once again those two are really good weapons to use in terms of shotguns if you chose to do that then let's talk about fusion rifles now i don't have any fusion rifles on me why because honestly i've never been a fusion rifle type of person now year one i did use the plan c and that's what i want to talk about i think the plan c is an amazing choice in terms of a fusion rifle I don't have one. This is our PS4 account. And as you guys know, we're on both Xbox One and PlayStation 4. And not only that, we also, you know, beast as much as we can on both consoles. And we farm on both consoles. And if you need help with Trials of Osiris, read the description below. We help on both consoles. Follow us on Twitter at RealTKO Gaming for more details on that and other things in Destiny. So, I mean, the real ones will follow. The other ones won't. Eh, who cares? And so, keeping that in mind, you know... 
Fusion rifles aren't really my thing, but the Saladin's Vigil is an amazing, amazing fusion rifle. Fusion rifle. If you actually can get really, really good rolls on that, I would do that. I would use that or I would use a Plan C. Those would be my two go-to things for fusion rifles. So I give you some of my top picks in terms of all of the special weapons. So I really hope that this video helps you guys into becoming better Crucible players, increasing your KD. I know you guys can do it. Um, please do continue to support us because we are going to be here for all of the destinies in the future. We're not going anywhere. And plus, we have some very cool new weapons to review in terms of the new meta along with some cool new i mean every week we do trial strategies for you guys as long as well as glitches and all that other stuff so this channel is pretty much everything that you could want in destiny i mean we're top one percent players we're not the best in it by any means but we stay up to date with when it comes to the meta and when it comes to what weapons are effective and how to play in the game and i mean we even help you guys with coaching and all that like helping you guys and if you guys want more you guys can come over to our stream twitch.tv slash real tko gaming you guys can ask us any question you want um anywhere you want to find us just pretty much search real tko gaming just like you see on my playstation gamer tag on your screen i love you guys so much uh, i know this is way longer than my usual videos but i really hope it helped you guys and if it did dropping a like on the video shows that and turning that bell on for my videos in terms of subscribing helps as well i love you guys so much i'll see you in the next one snipes out baby peace